Hi folks, it's up past seven at night on the 15th of April, about to go home and I just thought I'd throw another video up. This is my take on the astrological 11th house. The 11th house relates to the 11th sign of Aquarius. It relates to that section of the chart between 10 and 11 o'clock. It is most commonly associated with community. It is the community you interact with at the day by day and year by year level. It is your global community, it is your friends around the world. It is your local community as in the clubs and societies that you go out to. It is the cafes and the pubs that you go and drink in. It is your friends, it is your social life, it is your popularity. The 11th house is also your global aspirations. It's where your more, more humanitarian attributes lie. And it's where you can see the future a lot more clearly than many other people. It lacks to a degree in personality and in, in personal ability when it comes to being emotive or demonstrative. It is much more almost uh, cybernetic in its approach, but it does give a futuristic approach to the world. Now, with the planets in the 11th house, with the sun in the 11th house, the sun is its strongest in Leo in the 5th house, so it's quite weak in the 11th, if the sun can be said to be weak anywhere, which personally I doubt. Nevertheless, the sun in the 11th house uh, does find that their individuality is best expressed within the context of community, that they don't like to be alone, they like to be part of a greater community. Moon in the 11th house, similarly, these are the people who can get a bit insecure about communities, so they often have lots of parties. People with the moon in the 11th house are like great hosts. They want their community to come to their home. So there's always going to be the social element of the 11th house moon. Mercury in the 11th house, people, <sighs> good place for it, really, because the more remote or distant or detached element of the 11th house suits the more logical and analytical, rational and functional attributes of Mercury. So Mercury in the 11th house is one of its strongest places. It gives the ability to make objective decisions in and for community without emotional influence. Venus in the 11th house, of course it gives a love of one's friendships. It also makes one a bit unsure about what actually makes them work but nevertheless there is a love of friendship and if it's not analyzed too much then venus in the 11th house is a lovely position mars in the 11th house excellent for making community-based decisions excellent for on the spot reactions and responses a bit similar to mars in aquarius paramedic material jupiter in the 11th house Jupiter in the 11th house people, they appear to be very large in community, very magnanimous. Jupiter in the 11th house people, they want to be loved by their friends and they go to extremes to get it. But they also, they make people laugh. I'm smiling because I've got this position. Um, Saturn in the 11th house. These are the people who really do know the difference between community and friend and um, between friends and acquaintances and how that fits into community. Saturn in the 11th house people don't really have friends until they've been acquaintances for a trial period of a minimum of seven years. Thus, they don't have many friends, but those they do have are really, really good. Lots of acquaintances, not many friends. Uranus in the 11th house is in its natural home. Of course, there's going to be unusual and weird friends. The thing about Uranus in the 11th is that none of their friends are normal. They don't do boring people. Neptune in the 11th house is the idealist, the philosophical dreamer, the spiritual invoker of the future, who, who can be a bit like San Francisco in 1967, uh, but who's, who's, who's nevertheless... They're the artiste that inspires the whole of us as we push forward into the age of Aquarius. And Pluto in the 11th house people are here to help all of us transform our ideas of community and society in a way that's much more mutually transformative, mutually responsible, mutually empowering. The 11th house, community, group, friend, where you meet people, where you socialise, where you interact.